Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to spending quality time with your girl, Ephesus Eton. Today, we're going to be talking about lampshades. So, this is the home show. Now, let's get started. Well, today, we're going to be talking about lampshades. You know, um, in every home, we talk about personalizing your space, making your space your own, making your home something that people can come in and relax and feel comfortable and just see a lot of things that becomes a conversation piece especially things that you personalize because it's going to be your style where nobody else has something that looks exactly the same so lampshades are a good item that you can personalize and make it your own where no matter how people go out there and want to look for something exactly like that it's not going to be the same because yours has been personalized to your style and to your taste so I'm the queen of lampshades and um, one of those um, I'm one of those that when it comes to lampshades I always want to make it my own I always like to personalize it so it looks so different so I've created a lot of lampshades that are personalized and after watching this show if you want me to personalize your lampshade and make it your own please contact me through my Facebook page Instagram or um, Twitter and just let me know what you want to personalize it to do you want to make it a different color from how you bought it? Do you want to put your own extra flamboyance or um, luxury to it? Just let me know what you're trying to do and I'll figure it out for you because when it comes to doing lampshades or building flowers, I can do it the best. So please contact me if you want me to do something special for you. Well, lampshades, they come in different um, colors, different textures. You know and different sizes you have big ones you have small ones and they also come in um, different um, made you know like this one is pleated and it just looks different so they come in different um, forms and um, sizes so please when you go out there to buy your lampshades always buy something that works with your space you know sometimes you have people that just want um, to have lamps that are just outstanding so you might want to start thinking of a lampshade that is really different, that is really um, detailed, you see, with all these fringes, you know, so you might want to get something that is that exaggerated, so it really um, speaks for itself. And some people like lampshades that are just simple and just to the point, so you might just go and get something like this, even though it has this beautiful shape, but there's nothing too um, detailed about it, it's just a very nice, um, simple lamp um, shade. And then some people like lampshades that are so detailed, you know, where you can really have a lot of um, stuff going on. So you might want to think about something like this. So for lampshades, um, I'm going to um, today emphasize just on how we can change the color of a lampshade to match our home. A lot of times, you know, we go out there, there are all kinds of lampshades in different colors. But sometimes your eye might just catch a particular lampshade because of the size or because of the, the style or the texture of um, the fabric that has been used. So regardless, regardless that it doesn't match the colors of your home, you might just be like, this is the one, this is the lampshade I need. So all you need to do um, is just to personalize it. This particular lampshade, I had it in white. I got this from Kmart. And it was a white um, lampshade. And I figured I really like it. I like the style. I like the detail. I just like everything about it, the shape. And it's something that I knew was going to work for my space. Because, um, like I always say about detail, it's something that always makes a home look luxurious. So I was like, I really want this. But how am I going to tie it to my space? Because I was looking for something that was a gold, like what you see right now. So I figured, you know, maybe I should bring in my decorative know-how and do something that's going to be elaborate and different. So when I bought it, you know, it was white. And I just went to um, Home Depot and got the, the spray. You know, when you go to Home Depot, you just need to ask them, I'm looking for um, a spray, a color spray that I can use to maybe change a color of something. Maybe this particular color spray that I used was the one that is metallic that you can use to change like a wooden chair, any kind of wooden furniture. It really don't matter. It's still going to do the same job. So I got, the, I got that and I came home and I took my lampshade. Remember, Whenever you're trying to um, change the color of something using a spray paint, you don't want to do it indoors because you have to think about health. 
you don't want to inhale all that chemical and a lot of times you could, if you can wear like a shade to protect your eyes that's also a good idea or a little mask to protect your nose so you don't smell all that you know you don't inhale or smell all of that um, stuff that's coming out that's a good idea so I took it out it was a summer day summer is always the good time to do jobs like this you know it was a summer day and I went out and I had a little plastic put on top of my lawn and then I the plastic is because you don't want to mess up the grass where now it has the color of your spray that you were painting so I had this big trash bag and I put this on top of it if you have an old bed sheet that you're not using that's also a good idea so you put this on top of that and then you just spray paint it and change the color you know most times with spray paint the first coat is never what you're really looking for because most times it's gonna be light and when it dries off it might not really have that richness that you're looking for so you spray the first time you leave it to dry up and then you come back and do a second coat if the second coat doesn't really give you what you're looking for you can even do the third coat and see if eventually you are coming up with the color that you're looking for but with this one I think I did just two coats and I could I could um, have what I was looking for and I had this beautiful gold shade that just worked with my space and just blended with everything else in my space so say for example you go out there and like I say I always tell you places to get things that are cheap you go to home goods TJ Maxx Ross Marshalls and you get this beautiful lampshade because when you go to a place like Beth Bath and Beyond or you go to Home Depot you might still find nice lampshades but they might be very costly so why you don't need to spend all that money you just need to go to other stores that are cheaper and Ross is always the first place I advise you to go to except you don't find what you're looking for then you might go to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and all you need to do is to get it don't matter if it's a red it don't matter if it's whatever color it is just get your spray paint if it's a very heavy color like a red the first thing you want to do is to use a primer so get a paint which is like clear color like either a silver or a white and first prime it so you give a neutral color and then when you get that neutral color then you can come now and use whatever color you're trying to achieve if you say um, gold or red or purple now you do the spray paint in that color and then you can achieve something like this so please don't be scared to personalize your lampshades and don't be scared to get a lampshade of the style shape or fabric that you like just because you couldn't find the color that you wanted you can always create your own color by using the spray paint for those who don't have the know-how or who don't even want to try I do sell lampshades in various colors and shades that you want please contact me and let me know what you're trying to do or what you're trying to achieve and we can both work together and get your lampshade personalized well that was it for today it was nice spending quality 